things over here. about to hop on a call real quick but oh there she goes hold on well, what was your focus it was core and was so today core. was a full body workout yesterday was oh. yesterday was upper body today was full mm -hmm. body and then tomorrow girl i don't know what tomorrow is i needed i needed to just get through today I'm good i'm good for today i'm on this detox so i don't have like the the normal strength that I would have. Alright y'all, so this weekend, I, when I was at Marlene's baby shower, you know, I had to finesse my way into figuring out what to eat. And so, I was looking at this charcuterie board thing, and it was gorgeous. I mean, it was beautiful. It had everything, everything you could ever want, it just had, okay? Oh my god, this, <laughs> no this is not no this is not gonna do it this is not i discovered like the mini pickles um they're like super little like this and they're so good and i was saying like oh my god no i don't like pickles like ew 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 but i tried it with like some hummus Y'all, it was mad good and i had to figure something out because i wasn't gonna go hungry and what I did was I ordered, um, I got some hummus and I'm gonna, these are not the same, but I'm going to try, I really have to do my nails tonight, it's really ridiculous. I'm gonna do the same thing, the Gel X set, I'm actually like in love with the whole thing. So I'll leave a link to the Gel X set, I know some of you were asking for a link, I, at least I saw one person ask for the link um, and I hope that I put it in, in the description box, but I'm gonna put it in this one. I'm gonna make a mental note. Um, but these are called O oh Snap Pickling Company, but they're called O oh Snap and they're Dilly Bites, Dill Pickle Snacking Cuts. Great for on the go snacking. So this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna see if it has the same effect. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Okay, well, that smell is strong. See, this is what I, I want to find the little mini ones that, that I had that day, but I couldn't find it. I thought these were it, but I guess they're not. So let's see. I'm such a huge, like, texture person. Like, I don't like, I, yeah, I like crunchy. I don't like mm, all the other stuff. Let's see if I like it. Oh, this will work. Okay. Yeah, I can't believe I'm wearing a sweater right now. Well, it's like a really light sweater. And it's like hot in Jersey today. It's really, really hot. If something happened to me after that workout that like, you know how like that sweat just sits on you for a little bit and then you just get cold. I don't know if that makes sense. But I got cold. And I'm still cold. So, yeah. Don't judge me. I had to hop right into some work. So I didn't even shower yet. Like, how disgusting is that? I mean, it's not disgusting. I think it's just real life. If you judge me, that's fine. I really don't care. But I'm just saying, like, girl, hop in the shower and just get dressed. But that's my reality. I literally came home from the gym. I changed my clothes. This is what happened. My sister came to visit for lunch. And she, I was still in my workout gear and my workout clothes. And I was like, if I get in the shower and just do my whole thing, because I am going to wash my hair. I think I'm going to wash my hair. Should I wash my hair? I guess I should. I'm going to co-wash it. Anyway, I'm going to wash my hair. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to be able to spend time with her if that's what I do. So I literally was like, well, let me change real quick. Let me wear these little short shorts and change into this top because I'm, I'm cold. And I've been in that ever since. So it is what it is at this point anyway yeah this is good okay so it let me let me read to you the nutrition facts so obviously it's one serving per bag it's only 15 calories y'all 
And I'm not doing calorie counting per se. I'm really just trying to, well, you know what? Y'all tell, tell me this. I saw something on TikTok about calorie deficit or something like that. And I thought that was really, really interesting. Um, but I realized because I'm not a meat eater, I do have to find my protein in other things. And so obviously like my protein shake, like I like chickpeas, they offer a lot of um, protein. Um, but then I feel like I kind of like had to, I don't know, maybe it's me and my research, but I, um, I started just having salmon every so often to kind of give me that like protein. So I feel like now I'm like more of a pescatarian, I guess. Um, but I don't have it too often, but I really, um, I'm kind of like on the, on this discovery mode of trying to find more ways to get more protein into my body as like a vegetarian um <laughs> so yeah any suggestions just throw them in the comment section i am not above learning okay because i'm a student of life and i need to know and the funny thing is i've been a vegetarian for years but the only thing that happens is that my protein intake kind of like goes up and down um i mean with everything in life right but like specifically because of in the past like my my efforts in working out kind of increase and decrease and my interest in figuring things out with my weight also increases and decreases <laughs> but now i feel like i feel like i'm turning a leaf here because um i just feel different i just feel so different i feel like this is more of I feel like it's because I've been on a plateau for so long. I've been like one, I've been between, I've been between 165 and 170 for so long. Literally when I got, and that's not a bad thing. Like I'm not saying like, ugh, you know, cause I really can care less about what the scale says but I more so want my body to be kind of like where I want it to be, you know, and that's okay. Like I love myself very much so, um, but I know that I can work on some things. Like I got some, um, uh, I'm working on like my back rolls, my chichos, how we like to call it. And just like my, um, my stomach area, working that out. And I feel really, really good. But anyway, my point was, what was my point? What was I saying? Oh yeah, so I got on this detox and like boom, like starting losing weight. Now I started the detox officially. Now mind you, I got home from Puerto Rico. Okay, so I was eating that mofongo. Y'all saw the vlog. I was eating that mofongo. I was eating that limbe. I was eating that sancocho. I was eating everything and anything that I wanted. Pastele, baby, vegetarian style, but I was still eating what I was eating. Right? Carbs galore, honey. <laughs> anyway so i started monday last monday i was 171 i was 171 and today i'm 165 baby so by sunday night I'll, or monday morning i'll weigh myself again and that'll that'll be my official numbers for just what i lost on the detox and um i hope it's 10 if it's 10 that's great if it's not that's fine because it's already been like six seven pounds five Yeah, it's been six pounds. Huh, simple math. I'm telling you, this math is not my thing. Creativity, I got you. Math, mm -mm, no baby. Fill me up till I overflow. I want to run over. Oh, I should play that right now. I felt that. That should literally talk like praying and devoting your time and meditating on where God and having all these different things. I'm going to start my coaching for tonight. Things that fuel you to show up for yourself. To show up to your community. Even as you do what I want right now, he's like, no, I'm getting what you want or what you actually need in the time that I say so. So I need to focus on the work that you need to get done. Whew. Good morning, y'all. It is... What is today? Thursday. August 11th, let me make sure. I'm trying to get used to my new schedule because it's really not that bad. Um, but my thing is going to sleep, going to bed earlier the night before. Like, I've been trying to conquer this thing for a long time. Finally feel like the last few months I've been able to go to sleep earlier, wake up earlier. Um, not necessarily like 
five o'clock in the morning early that's just just not my ministry unless the lord wakes me up you know what i'm saying to pray or if i have to or whatever then i will i mean these trucks be like sounding like all types of things but last night i just could not sleep like i literally got the craziest cramps and i'm just so confusion i'm like these cramps are wilding out for no reason anyway um i'm just trying to like wake myself up but i am making my way to the gym and i just decided to like put this little outfit together of course now i'm like bloated so i feel like just all this right here i'm on this detox and like i promise you as soon as like the bloating of my period is gone um maybe by well of course it'll be gone by the next few days but i end on sunday so i'm about to weigh myself today um just to kind of see my progress i have to go to the gym in about like 10 minutes and um, i'm just trying to stay on schedule i don't know why these like like you can like see the cup thingies on this bra. <laughs> like what is that about? And honestly, I didn't even share the reason why I'm just like so tired is because last night I had to teach. And teaching like takes so much energy out of you, especially like when you're just all in. For the month of August, I'm teaching every Wednesday um, a live masterclass. And it's just gonna be amazing. But I just have to make sure I make room for myself to rest the next day or maybe even like in the weekend. So my rest day as far as working out is going to be Sundays um, because I still feel like I could do Saturday. Yeah, I still feel like I could do Saturday. I don't know if I'll do the Peloton on the weekends, like on Fridays, um, but I most certainly will be doing something. Um like six days a week i got some goals y'all and i just feel the grace to just be laser focused and the discipline to be consistent so i'm just riding the wave <laughs> out it's like all the sweat and all the things but I just finished working out it's Friday by the way uh, a video goes live later on this evening I have to add like some final touches but oh god I gotta charge my camera oh my god anyway I am getting ready to hop on a meeting I'm gonna like dry myself off change real quick I'm gonna try to do whatever I could thank god it's just my assistant she her and I are like this but anyway <laughs> I just got off the bike and I did a 30 minute ride pop ride with Allie Love on the Peloton so I think that Fridays will be like my cycling days like my bike days um and then Sundays will be my rest days and then Saturday I'm gonna try to catch a class at the gym that I go to so let me charge this camera I'm off to the gym on a Saturday morning um, because I, there's a 10 a.m. class that I really wanted to take but child I barely got sleep last night so let's see how this goes just got done with my workout period hold on let me show y'all this work you know it's just a little light work just a little light work all right y'all I am on my way home today has to be fast because I have to uh, what's it called I have to do my nails I have to film for a campaign and just like have fun this weekend like I don't even know what I'm doing but I gotta do it so I just got back from the gym and I'm about to make my protein shake real quick and then I'm going to sit with my iPad and just like map out the shots that i have to get for the video reel that i have to do for a campaign and i just really want to knock it out today i might have to do the second part tomorrow but 
I just want to get the bulk of it done today. Here's the protein that I use. It's the Oregon Organic Protein Protein Powder. And it has 21 grams of plant protein, which is great. I'm trying to um, just have as much protein as I can. And this is the Organic PB Fit Peanut Butter Powder, which I also add to it. I'm obsessed with peanut butter flavors. So this is a real thing. And I, I mix that with any sort of like unsweetened almond milk. It's only 35 calories. And I mix it in any of these like blender bottles that have like the little um, slinky like ball in it. So you can like shake it up. Just cleaned it. And this is not even mine. I, kinda, I think I just got this from like my sister and I just was like, I'm gonna use it. I can probably get a cuter one, but it is what it is. I'm gonna mix it up. I usually put about um, 16 ounces of liquid, but I'm just gonna put liquid at the bottom of this because I don't like when the powder gets like stuck on the bottom. And so I put the little ball in there. And then I just follow the oh, whatever recommended serving size. So this is two scoops of these. And I'm only sharing this y'all because y'all really seem to be interested in what I'm doing. So I'm just figuring it out along the way. So bear with me. Like I've been taking this for a while though. I do like this protein. Two tablespoons of this. I already have the measuring spoon in there. Or you can put water. You can put water too. I've, I've tried that too. But I'm like at the end of the detox, so I'm just going to use almond milk just to kind of get my body back into it. And then, make sure it's tight, y'all. Oh my god. It's so good. I am officially about to just put on like a show and commence my nail journey. I am hoping that this doesn't take too long. You know what? I'm gonna give myself an hour to do my nails. Um, and I'll come back and show you all my nails. These are the before, just shambolicals. I'll show you the after. I finished my nails. It took way longer than expected. And then I got caught up watching All American Homecoming. So. It is what it is, but look at my nails. I thought they look so cute. <laughs> ah, I did such a good job. I love this for me. Like, just like really enjoying my time and doing my own nails. Don't know how long I'll be doing this, but I definitely have everything that I need. And this color is really like becoming such a favorite. Like, yeah. I'll leave all the details in the description box below because a few of you were asking me about it and everything i promise i try to remember everything and i try to put it in my description box but if i ever forget it's probably more in my general links anyway so yeah so i'm gonna show you guys i just made this hummus plant-based burger lettuce wrap sandwich burger situation and yeah i'm like really excited to eat it i cut up some onions red onions in there i put two tablespoons of hummus um one plant-based like edamame or something um burger patty and the two lettuce wraps on top or top and bottom and that's it i'm sure it's gonna be really really yummy um, the patties I got from Aldi's, I think it was, and it's just like their regular protein vegan patties. Um, and I got their hummus. Well, no, I think the hummus is from Wegmans. Either way, just like a classic hummus and you just do the serving size that it requires. Alright y'all, so I finally got ready and I, um, <laughs> did my recording and filming, so I'm actually going to i'm uploading it right now into my phone from the sd card and um oh that's interesting not enough space available 
that's how I know that's a lie while my phone is figuring itself out I wanted to show you guys my makeup real quick um because it's gonna come off I mean nobody else is gonna see it except when you see the campaign go live you'll see it but it's always so weird like when you put full glam on I mean this isn't full glam but it is a kind of a full face and essentially you're filming or doing whatever you're doing with an audience of zero right because it's just you and your camera and then a bunch of people end up watching it so it's really not just me looking at my makeup like this more people will be able to appreciate it but it just is always weird when you just put on a full face just to film something and then you gotta take it right off and you feel like nobody ever sees it but people do see it so it's kind of like i guess that's a different approach but anyway um this is just like a close-up look i did kind of like my regular like um Oh, this one. I've been using this for months now. Um, the It Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow. Um, it's like a, like, I guess, yeah, like a CC cream. And it's so amazing. And it's so lightweight. Girl. And I love it so much. So, that's what it looks like. Now my, now my camera is freaking out. What is this? Anyway, I'm almost done with my gallon of water. I actually love water, so like drinking a gallon a day is not terrible for me. So let me finish this gallon. Is this thing on? Oh, uh, has zero minutes. Hold on. All right, had to switch my SD card really quickly. Um, I don't know where my other one is. Remember I had like three of them or four that were clear? Ever since coming back from Puerto Rico, like, I don't know where the other one is. And I'm just like, that can't be good. These are, like, crooked. I'm going to take these off. But aren't they a vibe? I put, like, this old bandana on. I don't even know if I want to wear it like this. But it's it's on my head right now. Um, This is a vibe. This is the outfit of the day. This is actually a swimsuit top from Icon Swim. This, these shorts are from H&M. These aren't like the infamous shoes that I wear. Don't mind this camera girl. Like literally, I was filming something yesterday and today. And so it's just still there. And also I do kind of sometimes do my reels on my DSLR. Anyway, um, this is thrifted. It's just like a linen time, uh, button down with a pocket oversized. And then I have this bandana on from, it was honestly PR, so I really don't even know, like, where it's from. But it's cute. And then I have this, uh, what do they call these bags? Anyway, see-through bag that is yellow. I have a book in there, my wallet, and all that good stuff. So, it is Sunday. Let me take these off, because it's really not that deep. <laughs> It is Sunday. I'm going to go. It's rest day as far as um, working out. So I'm letting my body just like rejuvenate, do all of the things. Uh, what I will probably end up doing is uh, I need like a nap. I didn't get much sleep last night, which is crazy. But anyway, um... I'm going to get like a ju some juices <clears throat> until I figure out my juicing situation. You guys really did have some really great suggestions as far as which, which juices to look into. So thank you so much. I appreciate that. I started looking into some of them and looking at reviews and stuff like that. So yeah, I think I'm going to... I just wanted to see my level of commitment before I actually bought a juicer. I'm not going to go all the way in and buy like one of those like super expensive ones. But I am doing my research to get a good one. So let's see which one I, I end up getting actually. I'm going to probably see if I just can just get it today honestly. Oh so my plan originally was to go on uh, to like do a whole picnic situation. So I packed like a picnic bag basket and um, now I don't even know if that's a thing. But let me show you guys what I did have to go on my picnic basket.
first of all isn't this the cutest basket ever like look at it i had to clean it up a little bit because it was like stained but it's fine it's, it's just really stained um but here i decided to just put two picnic blankets um typically like your drinks will go here i believe and then you would just hang up whatever utensils and things you would need here um but so far as far as healthy snacks i have about like three cups of pop kettle corn popcorn in here i have a knife because that's really the only utensil i really need i have some no salt no nothing peanut butter uh two tablespoons in here and that is for my rice cake huh lots of fun right and then and this was what was in the refrigerator here is two tablespoons of that classic hummus that i was telling you guys about yesterday i think <laughs> and then two lettuce wraps here for my beyond burger that's in there and then red onions that are right there now i was either going to cook this here and then put it together wherever i end up going or just end up if i end up going to like you know a house or whatever and just sitting in the backyard i would just make this at the house so it could be like fresh and hot so yeah y'all i'm about to just leave this in the refrigerator for a little bit longer and just see where the day just takes me and i'll take you guys along for the picnic <laughs> So plans definitely changed drastically. I'm still gonna give myself a little picnic, but I ended up coming to this juice place and they made me like this really good green juice. And I added, um, I added some ginger in it. My city is like really diversifying itself with like food in terms of like uh, healthier options and I, I really love that for me anyway I'm like I said I'm gonna be making my way back home now so that I can ooh, the way that person parallel part dang that was good that was real good Anyway, wow, the lighting was trash that whole time. Anyway, I'm on my way home or just gonna drive around. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. And then I'm literally gonna um, sit and eat my little sandwich or burger that I made. Um, I'm just gonna give myself a situation because I could have had a moment, a meltdown today. And I just, you know what? I had a little one like this, this big but I, I thank god for god's mercy and grace you know what i'm saying like i really feel like when we feel discouraged like really asking god for his mercy and his grace because he's already given it but it's like lord give me your grace give me give me your mercy because i could literally go off and i just don't want to go that route so here we are i know i'm talking in code but it's just one of those things where you're just like it will only be God it will only be God that turns my day around and he did and he did and this green juice did oh sorry this green juice said let me get out of here because it's like people are looking at me crazy on this vlogging camera Still reading the same book I've been reading. It's because I put it up and down and all around everywhere, but it's so good. I can't read it in one sitting. It's the um, Set Boundaries and Find Peace book. This is what it looks like without the cover on it. It's so good. I am sweating. Sweating. So I'm currently working, actually it's Monday, August 15th. 
had an incredible workout earlier today like it was so good like it was hard but it was so good um and i am doing like a pull side work from home day and i have a little like friend here today pelota Pilo, say hi oh she does not she's a little sad because my sister's away so we're taking care of her um she does not want to talk to anybody pelota pelota <laughs> You don't like the camera, girl. My real name is Bella, but I always give people and things, dogs, animals, all sorts of things, um, nicknames. So, Pelota is hers or pillow. Because when her hair grows out really big, it just looks like a pillow. Anyway, I am looking for a bomb song for this video I created for a brand. So, it's important that when you do like brand work that you use like royalty free copyright free um music and so i use this platform called epidemic epidemic sound um and i actually have a affiliate link in the description box that you guys a referral link rather that you guys can try um it's so bomb it is so bomb. It's like literally the best thing because their music selection is actually like really, really good. So if you guys are YouTubers or content creators or just like business owners that need some extra like um, just like good music. I'm not a gatekeeper over here. That's what I use. It'll always be in the description box below if you scroll all the way down. Now if I could just remember this password. Alright y'all, so I made my infamous veggie burger with, um, I made this yesterday for my picnic and it was so good. It was so freaking good. And it's pretty much, today I grilled the Beyond Burger, but it is a lettuce wraps, right? Big old lettuce wraps with hummus two table one one and a half tablespoons or two tablespoons i can't remember um sliced red onions like i said grow beyond meat burgers and that's it all right let me get this it's so good thank you lord for this food we praise you we bless you in jesus name amen so good Guys, I just got back from working out. Literally, look, I'm so soaked. Ugh, literally soaked. And the Amazon truck just pulled up, and I'm like, is that? Oh, no, that's, that's not my new juicer. Never mind. Wow, that is so sad and embarrassing. I thought it was. Oh, my gosh. My ear is like that bow. Like, y'all know, like, after the pull, you just feel like... I'm actually about to do some coaching hours in my um, confidence community here. And um, yeah, I love it because it's a very, like, very private group. It's a small group. And I get to show up in real life, in real time. So I just got out of, um, like I said, I just got out of working out. And going to recap on last week's teaching which was about cultivating confidence all right let's go live trust in the lord with all your... here we go oh y'all i'd be so thankful for that celsius pre-workout when it just like sits in and it starts working because today's workout, oh my God. I mean, the work is working, okay? The, the, the work is working, all right? I'm sharing this process with y'all, okay? It's hard work. Um, I'm trying to get myself comfortable enough to actually bring my vlogging camera. Like I said, follow me on Instagram because that's where I am posting a lot, and TikTok, where I'm posting on my highlights on Instagram and then TikToks um, or videos on TikTok. And um, 
of like my daily workouts not even to like really post a regimen or anything like that but just really to keep myself accountable to be honest with you because i really feel like this gives me just the mental discipline on another level for a very long time working out was that but i feel god calling me to just a different um another level of a discipline where what was my standard before is no longer the standard the standard has has gone up okay um especially with just kind of god i feel i feel god on this like i don't know like this this these next few months like god is really doing something so supernatural and i want you guys to like touch and agree and really encourage yourself Oh, I lost the nail, y'all. I don't even think y'all can... It doesn't even matter. Encourage yourself, y'all. Like, do not let your emotions to distract you or to distort what God already said. Sometimes we allow distractions to really, like, um, get us off of our post and off of our ground that we already have dominion over like this is principle bro like this is god you know what i'm saying um so right now i'm drinking my protein shake by oregon this is the chocolate one and um i add a little bit of the peanut butter protein as well i think i shared that in this vlog yeah after this um i'm gonna create my little video highlight for um my accountability for the day i'm still a little shaky from the workout today because it was just really intense the burnout was intense um, but I really love my personal trainer like man. She is amazing. So I just feel like God is really elevating us in this season. So I hope you're enjoying the ride But what I was saying before was that I'm going to try to just see when to kind of bring my vlogging camera because I already like film with my phone and stuff like that, but I want to vlog like my experience um, and when I'm there to share with you guys a little bit too um, so yeah, that's, that's that on that.